On July 24th, in a supermarket in Guangzhou, a man was lying on the ground, casually placing his feet on a refrigerated shelf filled with drinks to cool off, while leisurely playing on his phone. He wasn't the only one. Several others were also sitting barefoot on the ground, playing with their phones. In another part of the supermarket, a man sat on a vegetable-filled refrigerator counter, cooling off with his slippers off and his bare feet on the floor. Nearby, a few women were fanning themselves, looking as relaxed as if they were at home. The other shoppers seemed to be used to the scene, not finding it unusual. This video was uploaded online and sparked a lot of discussions. Many people commented that this way of cooling off was inappropriate. After all, a supermarket is a public space, not someone's home, and such behavior is inconsiderate. Recently, due to the hot weather in Guangzhou, many people have been heading to supermarkets to enjoy the air conditioning. The supermarkets are somewhat resigned to the situation. On July 25th, a media outlet interviewed a supermarket staff member who said, we have to ask people to leave almost every day. Because of the heat, people often sit here to cool off. We're considering putting doors on the refrigerators. We'll also sanitize the area afterward. Every summer, it's common to see people cooling off in supermarkets, restaurants, subway stations, and other public places across the country. This year, the heat has been intense, with northern cities experiencing prolonged high temperatures and drought, and the south suffering from stifling heat, often in the 30s to 40 degrees Celsius range. Recently, the Guangdong Meteorological Bureau reported that the ground temperature in Shenzhen exceeded 50 degrees Celsius. The heat is so intense that flip-flops can melt if they touch the ground. It's not just young people who struggle with the heat. Older folks find it even harder to bear. While young people are usually willing to turn on the air conditioning, older people who have been frugal all their lives often avoid it at home because they see it as a waste of money. They'd rather endure the heat than feel like they're burning money. But with such extreme temperatures, it's tough to keep suffering in silence. For these resourceful seniors, finding a free place to stay cool is quite simple. For instance, large supermarkets not far from their homes offer a refreshingly cool environment. As soon as they step in, they feel a chill that lifts their spirits, all without spending a dime. Isn't that wonderful? So, during the sweltering summer, these usually empty large supermarkets start to fill up. In the halls, along the aisles, and near the stairs, you'll see small groups of elderly people either sitting, standing, or strolling around. They're not there to shop, they're just there to cool off and enjoy the free air conditioning. In a market in Yangxing, Hubei, many elderly people gather to cool off. They sit comfortably, playing cards or Chinese chess, as if it were their own leisure spot. In a supermarket in Kaifeng, Henan, elderly people sit neatly in the aisles, some bringing their own stools, others sitting directly on the floor, enjoying the cool air. The supermarket has become their summer retreat. Chongqing is known as one of China's four great furnaces due to its unbearably hot summers. Every summer, it's common to see elderly people gathered in shopping malls to cool off and play cards. According to a manager at a large supermarket in Sichuan, these elderly folk who come to enjoy the air conditioning usually arrive in the morning, with most coming around noon or in the afternoon. The supermarket estimates that there are at least three to four hundred people cooling off there every day. They gather in groups to chat, play cards, wander around aimlessly, and some even smoke inside the store. The enclosed space becomes filled with unpleasant smells of sweat and feet, making it uncomfortable for other customers. The once clean and bright supermarket starts to resemble a noisy and chaotic marketplace. These elderly people significantly impact the supermarket's normal operations and affect other customers' shopping experiences. However, the supermarket staff feel helpless. When they try to ask the seniors to leave, the elderly often get upset, sometimes even arguing with the staff. They act as if they're doing the supermarket a favor by being there, standing their ground. The staff find themselves in a difficult position because these are older, frail people and they can't force them out. Previously, a netizen in Nanchong, Sichuan, shared a video that was both amusing and exasperating. A woman, overwhelmed by the heat, went to a local supermarket to enjoy the air conditioning and do some shopping. However, when she arrived, she found elderly people lined up on both sides of the aisles, fanning themselves and chatting. According to her, the benches they were sitting on seemed to be provided by the supermarket. Even though these elderly folks clearly had no intention of shopping, the supermarket turned a blind eye to their actions. When the situation in the Nanchang supermarket was exposed, netizens expressed a range of opinions. Some thought it was a considerate gesture from the perspective of energy conservation, noting that the air conditioning was already running and the additional cost was minimal. Some praised the supermarket owner's kindness and saw it as a good marketing strategy, even expressing a desire to support the store. 
On the other hand, some felt that the elderly were going too far, blocking pathways and disrupting the shopping experience for other customers, potentially harming the supermarket's business and reputation. However, with many young people shopping online nowadays, physical stores aren't doing well, and these seniors bring in some foot traffic. Some supermarkets even use this opportunity to hold events to attract customers. In Sichuan, a supermarket owner provided benches specifically for the elderly to sit and cool off, possibly as a marketing tactic to bring in more people, given the tough times for physical stores. To keep the elderly entertained during their cooling off time, a shopping mall in Shuzhou organized an event where a tissue company gave out free packets of tissues. The seniors kept walking in circles, collecting a packet each time they passed, seizing the opportunity for freebies. But no supermarket would welcome such customers. This auntie bought cauliflower at the supermarket. In order to reduce the weight, she bit off all the roots before weighing. This auntie was peeling onions one by one in the supermarket, leaving bits of skin and flesh all over the floor. A customer couldn't stand it and took a photo of the scene. This aunt picked through the bean sprouts one by one, which shocked the customers nearby. Some elderly shoppers also carefully select green beans, ensuring each one is the right color and free from blemishes. One elderly woman in Shanghai spent five hours picking through green beans, telling the staff that she would return the next day to continue. In fact, in the eyes of these aunties, peanuts, melon seeds, raisins, etc., all must be selected one by one. In a Baowang tea store in Hubei, at first glance, it looked bustling with business. However, a closer look revealed that it was filled with elderly people and some with children sitting around chatting without ordering even a cup of tea, occupying all the seats. The store manager explained, "This situation has been going on for a long time. Every day, elderly folks come to the store from 6:30 p.m. to 9 p.m. to play cards, eat sunflower seeds, smoke, and chat. Initially, the store manager kindly reminded them not to engage in uncivil behavior, but instead of improving, the situation." Situation worsened. Every time we clean up, we find trash in the corners that's hard to remove, and we need strong cleaning products for the stains on the sofas. When staff remind them, they're often scolded by the elderly. A netizen from Hainan commented, "My store is also filled with elderly people every day. They throw trash around, and when reminded, they get angry. What should I do?" Another netizen added, "There's not much to be done. Dealing with elderly people can be difficult, especially when there are so many of them." Many restaurants and tea shops suffer the same issue every summer, yet feel powerless to address it. In recent days, the Jiangsu Zhejiang Shanghai region has been experiencing extreme heat. Since August 1st, Shanghai and Hangzhou have recorded temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius for two consecutive days, setting the highest temperature records for the year. The forecast shows that this high heat will continue for at least three more days, and red alerts have been issued in both cities. The unbearable heat is hardest on construction workers, who toil under the scorching sun during the day and face power outages in their dormitories at night. Without air conditioning, even electric fans are unusable, making it impossible to endure temperatures exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. On August 1st, a Shanghai train station is crowded with construction workers seeking relief from the heat. Look at this. The construction site has a power outage. This is the 15th line subway entrance, and it's packed with people. It's already past 9 p.m., and the subway entrance is still crowded. According to data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service, based in Europe, the average temperature in mainland China in July reached a record high since 1940. It is expected that the Jiangsu-Shanghai region will be the heat center of China in August. However, local residents have found a popular place to escape the heat: IKEA. The showroom sofas and beds are occupied by people resting. Some are playing on their phones or napping, with some even covered with blankets, sleeping soundly. When IKEA first entered China, it was nicknamed the People's Bedroom by the public. It was common to see couples sleeping together on the displayed beds. Previously, a group of elderly people in Shanghai turned the IKEA restaurant into a matchmaking ground, as they could stay there all day for just ten yuan spent on bread. They made friends, chatted, and some even sought partners for romantic relationships in their twilight years. Because of this, netizens jokingly called IKEA a matchmaking hotspot. IKEA once considered clearing out these people, but after considering the possible consequences, they eventually tacitly accepted this behavior. Due to its unique geographical conditions, Guizhou has many natural summer resorts. At the Tianyuan Cave in the Hongguoshu Scenic Area, while it is 37 degrees Celsius outside, the temperature inside the cave is a cool 18 degrees. The staff even wear cotton clothes and use electric heaters. 
the area has become popular for Shandong hot pot, drawing large crowds. Elderly people are not only cooling off in the hotel lobby, but also playing music and dancing. Despite the staff's attempts to persuade them to leave, they refuse. The staff eventually set the air conditioning to heating mode, forcing the elderly to leave. Jiangxi Province, which has no natural summer escape conditions, has no choice but to find another way. Nanchang is a hot stove city, and we have our own way of escaping the heat. Please look behind me. Is it cool? Niche. Welcome to the niche check-in spot for Nanchang, Jiangxi, Daliang Tiantang, Yuan Road, Subway Station. Your best choice for summer escape. No tickets or reservations required. Chilled seats right under the air conditioning vent. A scarce resource. There is an empty seat just for you who are about to die from the heat. The first batch of VIP seats are available at 6.30 every morning. First come, first served. If you sit down, you will earn it. If you grab it, you will save. Turn on the air conditioner at home. Two kilowatt hours of electricity per hour, six cents per kilowatt hour, 12 hours a day, a total of 14 yuan and 40 cents, a net savings of 446 yuan and 40 cents per month. Old men and women not only cooled off in a hotel in Hangzhou, but also danced to music in the lobby. No matter how much the staff tried to persuade them to leave, they just refused. The helpless staff had to adjust the air conditioner to heating mode, and finally they left. Every summer, the square dance army is hard to miss. These elderly folks, equipped with powerful loudspeakers, unabashedly play loud music, disturbing nearby residents who are powerless to stop them. A video surfaced showing a group of elderly people pushing and shoving a young man while shouting. The young man who lives nearby was fed up with the loud music from their early morning dance sessions and resorted to spraying insecticide to drive them away. Many netizens praised the young man's actions, as many had also suffered from the disturbances but felt helpless. On July 31st, a group of elderly people blocked the road to dance, forcing passing vehicles to detour. Originally, I thought they would make way, but they were completely indifferent. I had to detour, but it still felt dangerous and quite frustrating. Square dancing is no longer enough to satisfy the exercise needs of these elderly women. Now they're donning matching outfits and carrying sound systems as they march down the streets, playing loud music and disrupting public order. They even disregard traffic laws, occupying roads and forcing vehicles to stop, ignoring traffic lights entirely. Nothing can stop them from moving forward. Their actions have caused many people to be late for work, creating a significant negative impact on society. From cooling off in supermarkets to dancing recklessly in public squares, these elderly individuals, who should be respected by society, have now become a distinct group that many find disrespectful and annoying. The tendency of some Chinese elderly women to act selfishly is not a habit formed overnight. It is related to the era they grew up in. Some say these women are products of the Cultural Revolution, former Red Guards who once embraced rebellion and vulgarity. Over decades, their class struggle mindset eroded humanism in China, discarded traditional values of propriety and integrity, and led to the emergence of these rude, greedy, and uniquely Chinese big aunties. Mm-hmm.